Hi, my name is Maria, and today I'll be showing you how to access 2010 Public Law 94-171 redistricting data through data.census.gov. Public Law 94-171, commonly referred to as PL 94-171, requires that the Census Bureau provide states the opportunity to identify the geographic areas for which specific population tabulations are needed and provide those tabulations to states in a timely manner for the purpose of redistricting. We have developed this video tutorial using the 2010 PL 94-171 redistricting data to prepare for the release of the 2020 PL 94-171 redistricting data, which is set to be released to data.census.gov by September 30th, 2021. So let's get started. Many users may want to access the redistricting data to view the population and housing counts for their community. To do this, navigate to our site at data.census.gov and click on the advanced search button located directly underneath the single search bar. Once you click on that link, you will see a list of filters on the left side of the screen. To access the redistricting data, click on the surveys filter and select the decennial census option. Then scroll down the list until you see redistricting data with PL94-171 in parentheses. Click on the checkbox directly to the left of this survey title. Since we only want tables from 2010, go to the Years filter and select 2010 from the list. Next, select the geography you want to view. For this example, I will use the city of Houston, Texas. So I'll click on the Geography filter and scroll until I see the Place Geography. The Place Geography filter helps identify data available for cities and towns. So after we select place, we will choose the state that our place is in. Since Houston is in Texas, we'll scroll down the list and click on Texas. And the page will advance to show all places in Texas. Since this is quite an extensive list, I recommend using the search bar that is available at the top of this panel. If you click on the magnifying glass icon in the top right corner of the panel labeled Texas, a search bar will appear and you will be able to search for places within Texas. If I start typing in Houston, the panel will automatically update to show places in Texas that match my search term. Then I'll click on the checkbox directly to the left of Houston City, Texas, which should appear at the top of the list. Once those filters are applied, click on the search button located at the bottom right corner of the screen directly to the right of the clear filters button. Now we see our tables in the results page. Tables P1, P2, P3, and P4 all contain population data, and table H1 contains housing data. In this example, I will click on table P1 race to view population data for Houston, broken down by race for the total population. So here we can see the total population of Houston City, Texas, broken down by race. Table H1, Occupancy Status, shows the occupied and vacant housing counts for Houston. So here we can see the total amount of housing units in Houston City, Texas, broken down by occupied housing units and vacant housing units. But what if we want to view and download data for smaller geographic areas, such as census blocks? If we want to find redistricting data for all census blocks within a county or state, we can start another search by clicking on the U.S. Census Bureau logo in the upper left corner of the screen and hitting the Advanced Search button. Then click on Surveys, Decennial Census, and Find Redistricting Data and select years and the year 2010 again. We're going to do a slightly different method than our last search. So once you've selected the redistricting data survey in the year 2010, as we did in the last example, click on the search button 
and the table list will appear again on the results page. Click on any table to view. For this example, I again chose table P1 race. Before we apply the geography filter, I want to double check and make sure that table P1 contains the some other race alone category, which it in fact does. To add the geographies from the table view, click on the filter button on the top left side of the screen located directly above the table list. If I want to find all blocks in Colorado, for example, I'm going to select the geography filter and then select block. Under the state list, I'll select Colorado, and then we'll click on the box next to all blocks within Colorado. Then click the done button located at the top right corner of the pop-up menu. Because there are so many blocks within Colorado, the table will be too large to display on data.census.gov. You will have to download the table to your computer by clicking the download table button that appears in the middle of the screen. I want to first verify that I have the right selections made. I can see that I have the box for the 2010 Decennial Redistricting Data PL94-171 selected, which is what I want. After confirming this, hit the download button in the lower right corner of the screen. I receive a message saying that the site is preparing my files. Once that is done, hit the download now button. This will download the zip file to your computer and you can access it by clicking on the download folder that appears in the bottom left corner of your screen. Once you click on the download folder, you may be prompted to unzip the contents of the zip file to one of the file folders present on your computer. I want to unzip the files to my downloads folder, so I'm going to click on yes, unzip the files to downloads. Open the file that has data with overlays in the naming convention and select the file to open in Excel. Now that I've clicked on that file and I've finished waiting for it to open in Excel, I can see that in row J, the some other race category also appears in the table with all of the blocks from Colorado separated by row. You can also find and map PL94-171 data through data.census.gov. Let's say you want to find race and ethnicity data for legislative areas in your state. Again, we would click on the U.S. Census Bureau logo and go to the advanced search page. Then select the survey, redistricting data, PL94-171, and the year 2010. Next, let's select congressional districts in New York for this example. Through the geography filter, you'll select congressional district and then New York as the state. Then select all congressional districts for the 111th Congress in New York. And click on the search button as we did in our previous example searches. Then choose a table related to race and or ethnicity from the results page. For this example, I chose table P2, Hispanic or Latino and not Hispanic or Latino by race. Once you choose table P2, click on the maps button that is on the top left side of the screen above the table list. This will show a map that will zoom in on the state of New York and display the 111th congressional district boundaries for the state of New York. The map will automatically default to show the 2010 PL total population of each congressional district. To change the data variable that the map is showing, click on the arrow directly to the right of the total button, which is located on the top left side of the page above the map view. From there, you can scroll down the list and select any of the other variables that are present in the table to view within the map. For example, if I wanted to view the not Hispanic or Latino, two or more races total data variable, I would click on it and the map will automatically update to show this change. Notice that the map updates with data for the new variable I selected 
and the map now shows that congressional districts in darker shades of blue have higher numbers of people who identify as not Hispanic or Latino with two or more races. In this final example, let me show you how to customize PL94-171 data tables in the table view. We will return to the advanced search page and select our surveys and years filters. Then click the search button and select a table to view. For this example, I chose table P4, Hispanic or Latino and not Hispanic or Latino by race for the population 18 years and over. Next, click on the Customize Table button located at the top right corner of the screen above the table. This new view, called the Customize Table view, is where you can access a lot of different functionality by clicking on the buttons in the ribbon located above the table. For example, the Customize Table view provides another way to add additional filters to the table. You can select any of the filters that would be present on the advanced search page for this survey and the table will automatically update to reflect the applied filters. You can also view the table notes, which are shown here, and can be hidden by clicking on the Notes button again. You can also download or export this table to Excel, print the table, or use the Map button to return to the Map view of this table. I hope this tutorial provided insight on the 2010 PL94-171 redistricting data available on data.census.gov. For more guidance on using our site, please visit our resources page at the link provided below. Thank you.